Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. Don't forget, grab your smartphone and download the Lava Matra app and stay in touch. Guru Maharaj's message is your advantage. The following is a Sri Krishna Chaitanya book compilation given by His Holiness Jaya Pataka Swami Maharaj on November 23rd, 2021 in Sridhar Mayapur, India. <laughs> Hare Krishna, dear devotees. Today we will continue with the compilation of Sri Krishna Chaitanya book. Today's chapter is entitled as The Three Four Parts of Lord Krishna's Energy, Part 2. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Leela 21.41. Brahma Sangeeta hai paacher chuali shirai se. Asya ikanishvasita kala matavalambya jivanti loma vilaja jagadhanda nataha Vishnur Mahan Sahiya Yasya Kala Visheshu Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamaham Bajami The Brahmas and the other and other lords of the mundane world appear from the powers of Mahavishnu and remain alive for the duration of his one exhalation. I adore the primeval Lord Govinda of whom Mahavishnu is a portion of a plenary portion. Purport by his divine Vishala Prabhupada. This is a quotation from Brahma Samhita 5.48. See also Adi Leela 5.71. Mahavishnu manifests all the unlimited millions of universes. Mahavishnu manifests all the unlimited millions of universes. And all the Brahmas, controlling lords, of the material world. And all the Brahmas, the controlling lords of the material world. And all the living entities. And all the living entities. And they stay alive for his one breath. They stay alive for his one breath. One day of Brahma is a thousand Chaturyugas. One day of Brahma is a thousand Chaturyugas. And one Chaturyuga is four million. 320,000 years. And one Chaturyuga, yeah. one Chaturyuga is 4,320,000 years. So, a thousand of those are one of Brahma's days. And a thousand of those is one, Lord, one of Lord Brahma's day. The ego, time, is one of Brahma's nights. An equal time is one of Brahma's nights. He lives for hundred years. And he lives like this for hundred years. Wow. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Lila 21.42 Go. Krishna Odin Dhamgata Tritya Guruya Atha E Atha Varja Suna Guru Atha Ar Tien Abasthan Krishna Shastra Kheti Jar this is the middle meaning. Now please hear the confidential meaning. Lord Krishna has three places of residence, which are well known from the revealed scriptures. Purported by his divine Grishla Prabhupada, Krishna has three abodes. His internal abode, Goloka Vrindavan, his intermediate abode, the spiritual sky, and his external abode, the material world. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Leela 21.43 Antar Abhas Golok Vrindavan Varnan Antapur Golok Sri Vrindavan Jahan Itta Sthiti Mata Prita Bandugan The internal abode is called Golok Vrindavan. It is there that Lord Krishna's personal friends associates father and mother live. Lord Krishna's Internal pastimes are manifested 
Lord Krishna's eternal pastimes are manifested in Golok Vrindavan. The devotees of Sakya, Vatsalya and Madhurya Rasa are relating with Krishna in his internal dham. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Leela 21.44 Madhur Aisharja Madhurja Kripa Dhivandhar Joga Maya Dashi Jaha Rashadi Leela Shar Vrindavan is the storehouse of Krishna's mercy and the sweet opulences of conjugal love. That is where the spiritual energy working as, as a maid servant exhibits the rasa, rasa rasa dance the quintessence of all pastimes so what's special about gold and down is mentioned here the lord special about golok vrindavan is mentioned here chaitanya charitamrita madhya leela 21.45 goshami padokta sloka Karuna Nikuramba Bukomale Maduraishwarya Vishesha Shalini Jayati Vrajaraja Nandane Nahichinta Kanika Bhudeti Naha Vrindavana Dhamma is very soft due to the mercy of the, of the Supreme Lord and it is especially opulent due to conjugal love. The transcendental glories of the son of Maharaj Nanda are exhibited here. Under the circumstances, not the least anxiety is awakened within us. So, Krishna's pastimes, his mercy, so Krishna's pastimes, his mercy are fully manifested in Vrindavan Dham. Are fully manifested in Vrindavan Dham. Haribol, Vrindavan Dham ki jai. Chaitanya Charitam Rita Madhya Leela 21.46 Dui Maddam Avash Vishnu Lok Vaikuntha Varnan Tarita Lepara Bhom Vishnu Lok Nam Narayan Adi Ananta Saru Perodham Below the Vrindavan planet is the spiritual sky which is known as Vishnu Loka. In Vishnu Loka, there are innumerable Vaikuntha planets controlled by Narayan and innumerable other expansions of Krishna. So, residence in Vaikuntha worship the Lord in awe and reverence. The residents of Vaikuntha worship the Lord in awe and reverence. Prominent are the relationship with Dasya and Santa. Prominent on the relationship of Dasya and Shanta. And Sakya with respect. And Sakya with respect. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Leela 21.47 Madhya Mavash Kishner Sharai Sharja Bhandar Ananta Sharupe Yaha Koreno Bihar The spiritual sky which is full in all six opulences, is the intermediate residence of Lord Krishna. It is there that an unlimited numbers, number of forms of Krishna enjoy their pastimes. So in the Vaikuntha planets, Krishna is enjoying different kinds of pastimes. So in the Vaikuntha planners, Krishna is enjoying different kinds of pastimes. In his form as Narayana. In his form as Narayana. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Leela 21.48 Ananta Vaikuntha Jaha Bhandar Kothari Parishad Gane Sarai Sarje Ache Bhari Innumerable Vaikuntha planets, which are just like different rooms of a treasure house, are all there, filled with all opulences. Those unlimited planets house the Lord's eternal associates, 
who are also enriched with the six opulences. So, the six, six opulences, the various rasas. So, the six opulences, the various rasas. Past times of the Lord. Past times of the Lord. Are present in the Vaikuntha planets. Are present in the Vaikuntha planets. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Leela 21.49 Brahma Sangeeta Pachar Tattali Shiroya Chhe Goloka Namni Nijadamni Taleshya Tasya Devi Mahesha Haridam Shute Shute Shu Tete Prabhava Nichaya Vihitas Chayena Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamaham Bajami Below the planet named Goloka Vrindavan are the planet known as Devi Dhamma, Mahesh Dhamma and Hari Dhamma. These are opulent in different ways. They are managed by the Supreme Personality of Godhead Govinda, the original Lord. I offer my obeisances unto Him. Purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila This is a quotation from Brahma Samhita 5.43. He asks us to show these four dhams. Srila Prabhupada, he asked us to show these four dhams. Devi Dham. Devi Dham. Mahesh Dham. Mahesh Dham. Hari Dham. Hari Dham. Golok Vrindavan Dham. And Golok Vrindavan Dham. Show these in the temple of Vedic Planetarium. To show this in the temple of Vedic Planetarium. So part of the cosmology part of a cosmology of the cosmology of the creation of the creation of the four dhams of the four dhams chaitanya charitamrita madhya lila 21.50 birajar avasthan bornon padmuttar khande 255 number adhyayer 57 number shloke royeche pradhana parama vyom nur antare viraja nadhi Vedanga Sveda Janitais Toyai pra Prasravita Shubha. Between the spiritual and the material world is a body of water known as the river Viraja. The water is generated from the bodily, bodily perspiration of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is known as Vedanga. Thus, the river flows. Purport by His Divine Grisha Prabhupada, this verse and the following verse are from the Patma Purana. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Leela 21.51 Tasyaf pare, pare Parapyoma Tripad Bhutam Sanatanam Amritam Shashvatam Nityam Anantam Paramam Padam Beyond the vi river Viraja is the spiritual nature which is indestructible, eternal, inexhaustible and unlimited. It is the supreme abode consisting of the three forts of the Lord's opulences. It is known as Parabhyoma, the spiritual sky. Purport by His Divine Grace Srila Prabhupada, In the spiritual sky there, are, there is neither anxiety or fear. It is eternally existing and it consists of, the, of three forts of the Lord's energy, the material world is an exhibition of only one fourth of the Lord's energy. Therefore, it is called Ekapath Vibhuti. Most of the residents, most of the Jesus are resident in the spiritual world. So, most of the Jiva are resident of the spiritual abodes. Those who are rebellious or having some separate idea, uh, uh, desire those who are rebellious or having some separate desire are existing in the material world. Are existing in the material world. Which is only one part of the potential of the Lord which is one fort of the potency of the Lord. The purpose of human life is to go to the back to the spiritual world. 
the purpose of human life is go back to the spiritual world uh, unfortunately many people remain in the material world because they have no information about the spiritual world unfortunately many people remain in the material world because they have no information about the spiritual world चैतन्य चरितामृता मध्य लीला ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट फिफ्टी टू भार्य आवास देवी धामोई जीव भोग क्षेत्र माया राज्य धार तले भार्य आवास बीरजार पार अनंत ब्रह्मांड जहा कठोरी अपार ऑन दी अदर साइड ऑफ द रिवर विरजा इज द एक्सटर्नल अबोट विच इज फुल ऑफ अनलिमिटेड यूनिवर्सेस each containing unlimited atmospheres this is looking from the point of view of the spiritual universe this is looking from the point of view of the spiritual universe so on the spiritual world everything on the other side of the roja so on this river in- is the jail so from the spiritual world on the other side of the viraja is the material world so the material world has unlimited universes and the material world has unlimited universes oh we are in one universe but we are in one universe and one planet with a particular atmosphere in one planet with a particular atmosphere Every planet has an atmosphere. But every planet has has an atmosphere. And the living entities live on each planet. And the living entities live on each planet. And different constitutions adapt to the different atmosphere. Different constitution adapted to the different atmosphere. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Lila 21.53 देवी धाम नाम तार जीव जार वी जगत लक्ष्मी राखे जहा रोहे माया दासी द अबोट ऑफ द एक्सटर्नल एनर्जी इज कॉल्ड देवी धामा एंड इट्स इनहेबिटेंट्स आर द कंडीशन सोल इट इज देयर दैट द मेटीरियल एनर्जी दुर्गा रिसाइड्स विथ मेनी ऑपुलेंट मेड सर्वेंट्स पर पॉट बाय हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस शिल प्रभुपात because he wants to enjoy the material energy the conditioned soul is allowed to reside in devi dham the external energy where goddess durga carries out the orders of the supreme lord as his maid servant the maid the material energy is called jagal lakshmi because she protects the bewildered conditioned souls goddess durga is therefore known as the material mother and lord shiva her husband is known as the material father goddess durga is so named because this material world is like a big fort where the conditioned soul is placed under her care for material facilities the conditioned soul tries to please goddess durga and mother durga supplies all kinds of material facilities because of this the conditioned souls are alert and do not wish to leave the external energy consequently they are continuously making plans to live here peacefully and happily such is the material world although making such plans in this material world is a place of suffering although we are making such plans this material world is a place of suffering because here everyone is forced to die but here everyone is forced to die in the spiritual world in the spiritual world they are eternal no one dies people the people are eternal no one dies so actually we are hankering to be in the spiritual world actually we are hankering to be in the spiritual world but due to illusion but due to illusion we remain in the material world we remain in the material world and there is simply danger at every step where there is simply danger at every step chaitanya charitamrita madhya lila 21.54
এই তিন ধামের হয় কৃষ্ণ দৃশ্যর ঘোলক পরম পরভ্রম প্রকৃতির পর Krishna is the supreme proprietor of all dhamas including Golok Dham, Vaikuntha Dham and Devi Dham. The Paravyoma and Golok Dham are beyond Devi Dham this material world, purported by his divine grace Srila Prabhupada. When a living entity is liberated from Devi Dham but does not know the opul does not no of the opulence of hari dham he is placed in mahesh dham which is between the other two dhams the liberated soul does not get an opportunity to serve the supreme personality of godhead there therefore although this mahesh dham is lord shiva's dham and above devi dham it is not the spiritual world the spiritual world begins with hari dham or vaikuntha loka So here, the position of the Mahesh Dham is described. So here, the position of the Mahesh Dham is described. It is between Devi Dham and Hari Dham. It is between Devi Dham and Hari Dham. So, if one does special worship of Lord Shiva, if one does special worship of Lord Shiva. He may end up in the Mahesh Dham. He may end up in the Mahesh Dham, which is above Devi Dham. Which is above Devi Dham. But it's not Hari Dham. But is it is not Hari Dham. We actually want to reach at least Hari Dham or Golok Vrindavan. We actually want to reach at least Hari Dham or Golok Vrindavan. Or even directly serve Lord Krishna. Where we can serve directly Lord Krishna. Chaitanya Charitamrita. মাধ্য লীলা টোয়েন্টি ওয়ান পয়েন্ট ফিফটি ফাইভ শুদ্ধ সত্যময় চিত শক্তি বিলাস তদ্রূপ ভৈবব কৃষ্ণের ত্রিপাদ বিভূতি দেবী ধাম একপাদ বিভূতি চিত শক্তি বিভূতি ধাম ত্রিপাদ ঐশ্বর্য নাম মাইক বিভূতি এক পাদ অভিধান The spiritual world is considered to be three fourths of the energy and opulence of the supreme personality of godhead whereas this material world is the only is only one fourth of that energy that's our understanding purported by his divine grace la prabhupad hari dham paravyoma and golok vrindavan are beyond the material cosmic manifestation they are celebrated as three fourths of the lord's energy the material world conducted by the supreme lord's external energy is called devi dham and is a manifestation of one fourth of his energy on a day of scientists are not aware of the existence of the surge of sky so the material scientists are not aware of the existence of the spiritual sky or even of the existence of the higher planets in our material world even of the existence of the higher planets in the material world because they have their science is only depending on what they can observe because their science is depending on only what they can observe vedic science takes information about the large spiritual world The Vedic science gives information about the Lord's spiritual world. And thus, this type of science can tell us unlimited truths. Thus, this type of science can tell us unlimited truths. And not limited to re-observe. And not limited to re-observe. There is no other way to know the truth. There is no other way to know the truth. চৈতন্য চরিতামৃত মধ্য লীলা টোয়েন্টি ওয়ান বিভূতি অর্থাৎ মায়াতিতা ও একপাদ বিভূতি মাইক লঘু ভাগবতামৃতে একের পাঁচশো তেষট্টিতে রয়েছে ত্রিপাদ বিভূতের ধামাত ত্রিপাদ ভূতম হি তৎপদম বিভূতির মাইকি সর্ব প্রোক্ত পাদাত্মিক যথ because it consists of three fourths of the lord's energy the spiritual world is called 
त्रिपात भूत बींग अ मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ वन फॉर्थ ऑफ द लॉर्ड्स एनर्जी द मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड इज कॉल्ड ए कपाद परपॉट बाय हिज डिवाइन ग्रेश प्राउपात दिस वर्स इज फाउंड इन द लघु भागवता मृत वन So here the relevant size and potency of each dham of each dham is about the spiritual abodes known as three fourth energy the three is which is known as the three fourth energy and the material abodes with its unlimited millions of universes the material abode which is with unlimited millions of universes Known as Akapad Vibhuti, which is known as Akapad Vibhuti, one fourth of the total energy. One fourth of the total energy. Chaitanya Charita Amrita Madhya Lila twenty one point fifty seven. Akapad Vibhuti Devi da mere bondon. Tripad Vibhuti Krishna re bako kuch agochar. Akapad Vibhuti Rishuno ho vistar. The three fourth part of Lord Krishna's energy is beyond our speaking power. Let us therefore hear elaborately about the remaining one fourth of his energy. Our realm of the spiritual world is inconceivable to us. The spiritual world is beyond our inconceivable. It is inconceivable. So. Lord Chaitanya is saying to Sanatan Goswami. So Lord Chaitanya is saying to Sanatan Goswami. Let's first talk about the material world. Let's first talk about the material world. Which we can, to some extent, <laughs> see. Which we can, to some extent, see. <laughs> Very bold. Thus ends the chapter entitled "The Three Fourths Part of Lord Krishna's Energy" under the section. the opulence and sweetness of lord shri krishna do you like our ad free videos be sure to subscribe to our channel we publish new videos every day and don't forget to like and share our channel